Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate a new product from Stampin' Up! and it's our Soft Pastels assortment. These are a chalk collection and they are one of my favorite new products from our annual catalog that recently came out. Years ago Stampin' Up! used to carry chalks called our Stampin' Pastels and they were one of my favorite products. They were definitely a favorite with my customers and they're one of the products I was most sad about when they retired. So I'm so happy they're back. There's an assortment of eight colors and today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite ways and favorite techniques of using our chalk pastels. The pastel chalks are so versatile. It's perfect for beginner stampers or advanced stampers and there's so many different ways you can use them. So I'm not going to cover them all today but I'm definitely going to give you a great start on different ways that you can use them. So let's start stamping. So these are our soft pastels assortment and when you open them you will see that there are eight colors. So we have Night of Navy, Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Mossy Meadow, Gorgeous Grape, Poppy Parade, Mango Medley, and Daffodil Delight. So these are the chalks. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite ways of using them. So I'm bringing in a silicone craft mat, which has chalk on it, so I'm just going to wipe it off. And I'm going to show you um, a few different ways that you can use these. So the first thing is is you can use some of our sponge daubers these are awesome if you've never seen these before you just stick it right in your finger there and you're ready to rock and roll you can also use our blender pens I'm going to show you how all of these work you can even use our water painters and you can use q-tips you can use sponges of course so what I like to do with these because these are a different style than our old chalks that we used to carry ours used to be little tiny squares what I've been doing and what I find works really really well is I take the spatula end of the take your pick tool okay and I just literally scrape off some of the powder you do not need much and a little goes a long way so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for um, probably all the colors that way I've got them handy here for my demonstration for you okay so those are done you will have chalk on your fingers so make sure you have something handy to wipe that off with I'm gonna keep the lid off because I'm I'm gonna show you how you can actually use these chalks uh, without scraping them off as well so I'm just gonna set those aside slide this over I'm so excited about some of the techniques I'm gonna share with you okay so the first way that you can use the Stampin' Pastels is simply using them to color a stamped image so I have gone ahead and pre-cut some of our Whisper White. I've cut them all down to measure four by five and a quarter because I want to use these to stamp the, um, to share the techniques with you. And then I'll go ahead and just put them on a card base at the end. So they're just gonna be very basic cards. And I'm going to pull in my Free as a Bird stamp set. I love this stamp set. I haven't used it for a while. Last week I used this at my mystery stamping hour and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this stamp set. We have so many great new sets in our new catalogs, but somehow we tend to forget some of these um, great sets too. So pull out stamp sets if you haven't used them for a bit and give them some love. All right, so I'm going to put this on my block. And I'm going to use my black memento ink pad for this. And just stamp it down right there, right in the center. So pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment while I have my black out. Um, I'm going to stamp with the best of friends. I'm going to put that right below it. So again, these are going to be very easy cards, perfect for new stampers. And also for those of us who've been stamping for a while and we just want some fast, pretty cards to make, this is ideal. Okay, now I'm not going to use 
my chalk palette that I've made on my silicone mat for this card. I'm just going to literally pull this in and I'm going to start by using my blender pen. So if you've never used our blender pens, they come two to a package and they're double tipped and so they're exactly the same on each end. You can use these with our um, ink pads as well. Today it's all about using the chalks. Now I will say that using the uh, pastel chalks will dry out the ends on these a little bit. So I always keep a blender pen de designated for my pastel chalks and then I'll have another set or another pen just for using inks. Okay, so let's start coloring. I'm going to pick up some of that Coastal Cabana and color in my blue birds. And the beauty with the chalks is you can add shading really easily because when you first go down on your cardstock, it's going to be darker and then as you blend it in, it will get lighter. I think they're all going to be bluebirds. I'm just going to keep this very, very simple because I have a lot I want to share with you today. I love using our pastels. It really does give that beautiful, um, soft chalk look this is so so nice i'm just going to go in and add a little bit more so for those of you who have used our blender pens before same thing as you would with ink you're going to go back and forth on your scrap paper until you get that color out of the tip uh, let's go into some daffodil delight and just add some yellow to their bellies So it's only eight colors, of course. We don't have a huge selection of colors, so we don't have brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use purple because that's a dark color that I can use to color in their beaks. Add a little bit of purple down here too. Just add a little bit. So you can really play with the colors, blend them in. And now I'm going to pick up some Poppy Parade and color in the flowers. Using the pastel chalks is very forgiving, very quick, super, super easy to use. I'm going to add a little bit more red just to make these pop out a little bit. Just, I'm just dabbing it right on. All right. Now I'm going to go into Mossy Meadow. So this is going to be a green branch. And I'm going to use Granny Apple Green to color in the leaves. I love the Granny Apple Green because it's just such a nice, bright, vibrant color. And look, I missed that little flower, so I'll come back into that in a second. all colored beautiful quick fast easy beautiful blending I love the chalks years ago when um, I first started with Stampin Up and I was having in-home workshops I sold so many um, packages of our pastel chalks because as you can see it's very very fast and so for the brand new stamper and this may be you if you don't have a lot of supplies if you have your black ink pad set of stamps and your cardstock all you need to get is your pastel chalks. You can use a blender pen. I like the blender pen because it lets you get into tiny little areas, but you can also use Q-tips for coloring super, super fast. So I'm gonna show you the Q-tips in the next um, card. Okay, so I have a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock for my card base. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. Got a little bit of glue sneaking down at the bottom. And of course, I will add my paper for the inside of the card, but how quick and easy is that for a card? Beautiful. So the next card, I'm gonna stick with using Free as a Bird. And grab a block, a little bit too small. There we go. Again, using my Memento ink pad. Just 
going to stamp this right here. And my sentiment. Again, simple, simple cards. Just showing you how you can use the um, pastel chalks. Okay, let's pull this down here. So I'm going to use a Q-tip now. And I'm going to go into that Coastal Cabana and do a Bluebird again. So you see it picks up the color. Now the blender pen, because it's wet, the tips are wet, you get a more intense color versus using a Q-tip um, or an earbud as some people call them. But um, you get a really nice soft look with this and it's very, very fast as you can see. And a little bit of purple, dab that on through the beak, just like we did on the last one. We'll add a little bit of purple here and there. Now I'm going to go back into that Coastal Cabana, and you see how I can add the uh, shading, make it darker. All I'm doing is I'm pushing harder. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to flip around, go into that Mango Medley, and just add a little bit. On the bottom, you can brush some of that off with your fingers. And I'm going to take some garden green and just add a little bit down below so it looks like he's on the grass. Doesn't get any faster, doesn't get any quicker than that. So easy. And again, I'm going to put this on my gorgeous grape cardstock so both from the same stamp set and you can see hopefully the difference with the blender pen and that blender pen also lets you get into all those tiny little pieces little bits and then this bird with the q-tip quick easy now I'm using the art gallery stamp set and I'm going to demonstrate um, a technique known as pop and pastels so if you are new to stamping, this will be new to you. If you have been stamping for a while, I will be surprised if this is new to you, but it might be. But this is, this is such a popular technique with our pastel chalk. So I'm going to bring in my piercing mat, which I like to use when I'm stamping with our photopolymer. Let's stick that on. It's a big stamp for that stamp. Let's see, let's grab this one. Thanks, Peter. All right, this is, this is magical. Magical. All right, I'm gonna take my first marking pad, take a moment to enjoy seeing what a clean ink pad looks like. My first marking pads never stay this way very long. So I'm very excited to have a new first mark ink pad. All right, so I'm gonna stamp my flower right on to my white cardstock. And I know you can't see this on the camera, but it's there and I'm going to stamp the leaves right below it a little bit off center that's okay I'm going to put this lid on and I'm going to pull in this palette of pastel chalk okay now I have um, sponge daubers that I've already been using with these chalks so I'm just keeping them all together in the bag and that way I'm not getting them mixed up with my inks as well. Okay, you ready for the magic? I am going to use my Poppy Parade. I'm just going to dab it right into that chalk and go right on the cardstock. See, I'm just tapping it on and you can see the colors pop right off the page. Isn't that cool and now I'm gonna go into my green I'm gonna use mossy metal first because I want to have a couple shades of green so now I'm going in with the granny apple green I love shading the pastel chalks together let me just pull it off and I want a little bit of yellow in here too so I'm just gonna dab some of that on just brightens it right up 
Now I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and I'm just going to lightly brush off the excess. Now you can set this with the fixative that you get from a craft store. You can use light, um, sorry, you could use, um, you could use hairspray. I actually don't use any of that and I find it's fine. I don't find I'm getting enough chalk off on my fingers for it to be an issue. So how cool is that? What I want to show you is another card that I made also using the pop and pastel technique and for this card I used the color and contour stamp set. So I did exactly what you just saw me do in here. So this is all chalk but then I stamped the outline image with the basic black and put that on top and then some of our beautiful new shimmer vellum. If you haven't ordered any of this, let me tell you, seeing it online or in the catalog doesn't do it justice. This is the coolest vellum ever, all in our beautiful new in colors. So these are for, um, these are my cards that I worked on yesterday. So these are for my class members who signed up for this month's color and contour class, which um, the kits are sold out but I am going to be sending everybody a thank you card. So all I need to do is cut out more butterflies <laughs> and put them on the cards, but they're all different colors. And they were actually quite fast to do because I was using the pastel chalk. Just so much fun. So you could also make these into a one sheet wonder where you do an entire um, eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and then cut it up. I didn't do that for these. What I did for these ones is I um, I cut them all into, um, I think it's like two by four or something like that, because I wanted the, I wanted to have the same amount of flowers on each card, but it didn't take too long. And I put some music on and really enjoyed it. And all their um, envelopes are stamped as well. So I'll just kind of hide an address, but I've also stamped their envelopes to match also. So and that's also using the pop and pastel um, technique. Here's another one done with the blue. So my cards coordinate with the envelopes. So here are the finished cards and I did step them up a little bit. I added a couple of our beautiful sequins. So that was the first card that I did using the blender pen with our um, pastel chalks. And then this one here, I decided to add a strip of designer series paper. This designer series paper is from our pattern party um, designer series paper that you can earn for free with our host rewards and I absolutely love this package of designer series paper. So all I did is I cut it to measure four by two and then I just scored a little tab at the at the top rather and folded it in half so I can get that double pattern and then I added some of our white uh, ribbon. So that's how I stepped that up. Now Now here's the pop and pastel card I made where I stamped it with Versamark and took my sponge dauber and added on the chalk. Well you can see all I did is I just added a beautiful sentiment. Now this sentiment is from our Sunny Sentiment stamp set. I simply just stamped it right on top and then I mounted this on a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock. So you see very simple cards, beautiful cards. From the same stamp set, I did the same technique with the pop and pastels. This is a card I did during my mystery stamping hour uh, on Friday. And I just added a couple strips of designer series paper, my little bumblebee. And then all I did is I popped this image up after I die cut it. And I think it turned out really, really nice. And then just to show you another card that's very simple, this was using our um, Butterfly Brilliant stamp set. And again, it's the Pop and Pastel. So I just stamped it with the Versamark and used my chalks. Very, very simple. I added a little sentiment. This is from Inspired Thoughts and I just used my scissors to cut it. So again, you don't need a lot of supplies to make beautiful cards.
So in this series using our soft pastel assortment, I am going to have a couple more videos. So stand by for those where I'm going to show you how we can use our chalks with our decorative masks to make really beautiful, fun cards. And then I'm going to show you how we can use our embossing folders with our stamp and pastel. So lots of fun ways to use these beautiful chalks. Today was just the basics and I hope you have fun with this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and happy stamping.